Welcome back to IAS Tech. In this video, you will learn how to create a model or dialogue in the Angular project. So this is the dialogue that we made in this project. You can see this dialogue or model is totally custom and very simple. So this is how it works. <clears throat> if you click on outside of the dialogue, it hides the dialogue. And if you click on that button, then it shows the dialogue. It is very simple and easy to build. So let's see how we can build this kind of dialogue. At this time, I have very basic Angular project running in my local server. So this is my basic Angular project uh, and there are no complexity in it. So this is just initial files and I'm going to remove all of the basic code from the app component.html. So now you can see that there's nothing in this app. So I'm going to start from scratch. So first of all, I'm going to create a new service. So, so we would create a service that would support uh, these kind of things. For example, if you want to show or hide a dialogue or model in your uh, Angular app, then you can just simply use that service to show and hide that dialogue. So for that, uh, I'm going to run ng generate service share services general i'm going you can name it anything but i'm going to name it general for now so let's see okay the service has been created next i want to create a component for the dialogue for the model so type ng generate c for component and provide the path for the component shared components dialog and press enter okay the component has been created now i can display that component in my app component so for that just type app before that we make we need to make sure if dialog component is added in the app module i think that is there so now we can type app dialog with this you would see some basic text in the app component coming from the app dialog component now i'm going to the general service and in the general service i would create another property that would be show dialog so i would use this value to show and hide the dialog or model Before hiding this dialog, I am going to style it first. For that, let's go into the dialog and uh, style it. For that, let's create a container. And the container should have specific width. I would say 40% and height should be 600 pixels maybe and I'm going to add box shadow okay I also want to add a little bit border radius around it border radius 5 pixels and now i would align it vertically in the middle for that i'm going to style the host uh, host element so to select the host element just type host and type display block and position should be uh, fixed and left should be zero pixels 
right should be zero and width should be 100 percent and height also should be 100 percent now i am also going to add some uh, semi-transparent background color for the dialogue so for example background color should be rgba and now i'm going to provide that transparency opacity so you can see that uh background layer uh, layout layer has been added so, so instead of left it should be top okay next i want to add background color white to my container okay now i want to bring this dialogue in the middle vertically and horizontally for that just type display flex and then type align item center and then justify content center so it is in the middle now all right so the basic container is ready now i am going to add a header and container the content section you can provide any text in this header according to your requirement And at the end, I want to provide some actions. And in the actions, I want to add two buttons. With yes and no. So in the container, I would like to style the header now background uh, the border should be one pixel border bottom okay and uh, the height should be at, at least 50 pixel let's see uh, i'm going to increase it a little bit further okay now I need to add padding to left and right. Okay, now I want to vertically align it in the middle. For that, you know, we can use the flex properties. So I display flex, flex and align item center. All right. okay now uh, i want to increase the font size and before that i want to change the font family for all of the text in my dialogue or model font size 
uh, font family. Area. Okay. Now for the header, the font size should be 40 pixels maybe. Uh, or it is too much. Let's try to reduce it further. So, okay, I think that's fine. Uh, now I want to change the color of the text maybe to see if that looks better. And the font weight should also be bold. Next for the content. Before that, I want to add the display flex property to the main container. And flex direction should be column. And after that, we need to design the content section. And content should consume all of the remaining space. For that, you need to say flex grow one. That would take up all of the available space automatically. And now I want to add some padding. And the font size should be a little bit bigger. And next, I need the action buttons. So I need to design the action button for that. Type actions and button. And before that, I want to say that display flex and uh, justify content should be space uh, flex end. Okay. Now I want to provide the height for the buttons. For that, uh, height should be 50 pixels. And the gap should be 20 pixels and there should there also should be a padding for that okay now i want to design the button for that just type height should be 30 pixels and uh, padding should be 30 10 maybe So instead of 30, let's try 10 pixels. I think that's fine. And horizontally, we need 40 pixels maybe. I think that is fine. Now we need to differentiate the button. So by default, the color should be background color blue. And there should not be any border. Also, the color should be white and font size size should be bigger. It is too big. I want to decrease the font size. Okay, I think it, it is fair now. Other than that, I also need a cursor when you hover that button cursor pointer okay and the button that is for the cancellation I want to change the style for that one so 
this button should not have the same background color instead i would say it should have white background color and the border should be the same blue color that we had with the other button um, this is solid and uh, the text should also be the same color all right i think it is looking very good now and the height is too much for this dialog i want to decrease the height so it should not take the fixed height it should automatically consume the take the space that uh, according to the content of the dialog so i think this this is great now so it, i'm going to hide this dialog based on the value provided in the service so to do that we need to inject that service first in our component to inject a service you know that we have to create a constructor and in the constructor we need to provide public the name of the service that uh, i mean you can provide any name here uh, i would say general service and here you would have to provide the exact service name and it would be imported so make sure that this service is imported like this after your service is imported you can in inject it like this and after it is injected just copy the name of the variable that you def you declared here and use that service in the html like this and if if general service dot show dialog is true then show this dialog otherwise don't show it so missing what's wrong here okay now it is working fine <clears throat> so you can see the dialogue is hidden now and you want to open the dialogue dialogue based on any uh, event for example i want to open this dialogue if user clicks on a specific button for that let's create a button show dialogue and if user clicks on this button then the dialogue should be visible for that i would add a simple click event and in that event i would say that general service dot show dialog should become true so as soon as user clicks on this button this would change the value of the show dialog to true that would make this dialog visible so you can see that dialog is visible now now uh, we want that if user click on the no button then this dialog should be hidden for that uh, I'm going to inside of this dialog and I would inject that the same service in this dialog now. Private, or you can also make it public to access in the HTML. Public, general service, general service. And now let's use it in the HTML on the no button. So if user clicks on the no button, then it should hide the dialog. So I just uh, changed the value from true to false. So as soon as the value of this uh, property becomes false, it would uh, hide the dialog immediately because of this if condition. So let's see. The dialog is visible after clicking on the no button, it is hiding. Yeah, and even if you want to hide it by clicking on the no button, you uh, yes button, you can do the same code on that button as well and other than that i want that if user clicks on the overlay then this dialog should be hidden so for that uh, i would say that instead of uh, adding the overlay the semi transparent overlay styles on the container i would like to add another div here that would say overlay and i would uh, assign all of these designings uh, one second let me think 
so i think that is not necessary uh, for now uh, if user clicks on the container we can just hide it and there are some issues that we would face i would explain how to fix them so for example, I have shown the dialog. If user click outside, then it should hide it, but it is not hiding. Actually, it is not hiding. Uh, the reason is that this semi-transparent overlay is not the container. It is uh, the host element. Look at this. This designing is coming from the host. So we don't have access on the host. I mean, we uh, we cannot easily we can obviously add click event on the host, but uh, that is not straightforward. We would have to do that in the TS component. So I want to use the easy approach for that. Uh, you can add another, you can add another <coughs> element here, overlay. And with the overlay, instead of saying host i can refer that overlay element selector and this font family now should go to this section and uh, we don't need this thing anymore and other than that i think it's all good we don't need display flex now okay and the z index we can try this one uh, okay okay you can see overlay is showing now but the issue is that uh, the dialogue is now behind the overlay and it is not looking good and also the alignment is also disturbed so we need to fix the alignment as well. for that we need to add direct styling to this container to make it aligned in uh, in the middle for for that type margin auto position fixed left zero pixel top zero pixels and let's see and also the bottom should also be zero and right should also be zero this would bring it in the middle okay it is in the middle but uh, it is still behind the overlay for that i need to add the z index higher than the z index of the overlay for that i would say z index should be 13. okay but uh, another issue now is that it is taking the full height that is not what i want for that Let's see what we can do. Uh, I think I can add a fixed height for now. Let's see. Right, 400 pixels. Okay, it is still too much. It should be maybe 100 for this kind of container dialog no nope. three two fifty okay now if you uh, as we have this uh, overlay element so instead of adding this event here i'm going to add this click event on the overlay so that if user clicks on the overlay element then we should hide the dialog for that you can see i am clicking outside and it is hiding the dialog and if you click inside anywhere of the dialog it would not hide the dialog it would hide the dialog only if user clicks on the overlay or if user clicks on the no button so so that's how you can create a very simple custom model or dialog in the angular project so if you have any questions or anything you want to ask about it please feel free to leave that in the comment section i would uh, be very happy to answer your queries
so if this video is helpful for you in any way then please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon also please like and share my video thank you for watching see you later in the next video bye